Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be cleaning and decorating. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be setting up some new rocks, some new window treatments. So let's jump right into today's video. First thing first, we're gonna remove all the cushions from my sectional. This sectional is high performance fabric. It's super easy to spat clean, but every two to three months, I like to remove all the cushions and wash them in the washing machine using Folex. You guys know I rave about that product because I use it in all my light furniture. So here we're just removing all the covers. Partner with Ruggable for part of today's video. I am going to style two of the rugs today. I am so excited. My first time trying them and I heard so many good things about Ruggable. If you're not familiar with them, they offer machine washable rugs that are spill and stain resistant, you guys. Before I set up my new rock, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my furniture in this area. Of course, I'm using Folex. You guys know that I always use this product to clean on my furniture. So I put it with some warm water and use a microfiber cloth to clean and wipe and, you know, kind of spot clean the furniture. Using my favorite machine, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and map all at the same time, you guys. I rape about this thing. Check it out in the description box. You guys need this in your life. Trust me. So let's go ahead and set up my new ruggable. The first thing you want to do is, you know, put everything apart. And then, of course, start by aligning your rug pad. That's the first thing you're going to do. Roll those up really nicely and put them where you want your rug to go. Then you're going to get your rug cover and start smoothing it out and making it, you know, align with everything. And then it's gonna go slightly over the edge of your rut patch. And this is how it turned out. The rock that I chose for my formal space was the crotch hatch light gray rock in the size eight by 10. I love the neutral design on this rock. I was cleaning inside the hobby was outside doing some you know yard front yard work and I was like bae can you get me some branches I just wanted to bring the outdoors in and kind of like you know make it all fresh and natural so I make my own little branch arrangement using this beautiful base that I have here and just put that in the dining table I just wanted something very simple and clean lines you guys and not spend money on it so that's exactly what we did here and it looked really nice So I went ahead and gave um, the dining room a vacuum and a mapping, you know, with my Tinker machine, the best thing ever. And then I went into the family room as well. Then I decided to start picking up the kitchen. And that way, you know, um, when it's time to map, I don't have to do this. So I wiped down the cabinets a little bit, nothing deep, nothing deep cleaning over here. Just wiping them because, you know, sometimes Jaden opens things with Oreos in his hands and stuff like that. So they get a little dirty. So here's just pretty much maintenance, just wiping them down and making sure they're nice and clean, cleaning all the appliances and stuff like that. Blue and fade, it was blown away. So using this gallery base, I got some florals from my local supermarket. I'm gonna go ahead and make a natural arrangement. I wanted everything white and green. I don't know, I'm just loving simplicity nowadays and the neutrals. So this is the little arrangement that I came up with. Is it possible for us to feel after I was done cleaning the kitchen, I went back to the family room, make sure that area was nice and clean by vacuum and, and mapping again. And then I'm here finishing up in the kitchen. Okay, you guys, my least favorite part it's putting the cushions back. I mean, the top cushions are easy to put, the seating cushions are a pain. Thank God the hobby has a patient and he always helps me. So here's about to get in and do that. Thank you, babe. So 
So now that this place is nice and clean, we're gonna set up my second ruggable that I got. This one is called Serenata Ash Gray Rock, and this one is also an eight by 10. What I like about this one is that it's the same exact color of the family room, but with a different pattern. I love it. Super neutral and it just complements the space. For the coffee table, I'm gonna keep things simple. Like I said, I'm gonna add my little floral arrangement that I did. That base is from C Gallery, it's beautiful. And I'm opening the book so it could add some color to this area and a candle to finish the look. So before I start changing my window treatment, which we're gonna get some new curtains up in a second, I wanted to show you how the rug looks because I love it. Look at that pattern. It's very neutral and I love the color. So the color is like a grayish color with a neutral ivory in it. I love it. By the way, they're super, super soft to walk on as well. So here are the curtains that I got. I got this one from Amazon. They're 108 inches alone. And you guys, I've been on the hunt for the perfect one and I found some really pretty ones at Home Goods, but unfortunately I only found two panels. So here I am. I'm gonna go ahead and set them all up and decide if I wanna keep them. I really like them and the quality is good for the price tag. It is just that it's a little darker than what I wanted. I wanted more like a very light whitish linen color, if you know what I mean. But let's set them up. And anyways, let me know down in the comments, what do you think of these curtains? Should I keep them or return them? So I gave them a quick steam. I'm not gonna go crazy because in case I decide to take them down, but I'm gonna steam them just a little bit. That's it for today's video. This is how everything looks, you guys, with the new area rocks and the new curtains. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I'm loving it, honestly. I love how neutral and how warm it looks. Obviously, I will be adding some more pops of color for the summer, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. God bless.